Hello everyone. Welcome to another Monday movie. I'm Mr. Blue Summers. So this week I'll be showing you a quick technique that you can use for creating a keyhole in 3D Studio Max. Um, I was actually talking to someone earlier this week and they were asking me how to resolve the topology um, right here at the end where you would put in the keyhole. You know, how can you manipulate these vertices within a turbo smooth environment in order to handle that? And I thought, you know, that's probably not how I would do it. So let me show you how I would accomplish this kind of uh, this kind of maneuver. I would start off with a really good reference. I happen to have one right here. Um, it's a head-on perspective of an ordinary lock, and I'm going to draw out this little shape right here and use a pro boolean object in order to cut this out of an already turbo smoothed object. Because right, that's how it would be manufactured in real life. You'd end up with this outer piece, you'd end up with this inner piece, and then you'd end up with this third piece that would have the actual keyhole cut out of it straight through. So that's how this, this object is being put together uh, itself. So let's get started. I'm going to move my, my reference off screen. I'm just going to keep my eye on it. And in the top viewport, I'm just going to rotate this really quick because for all the 3D work I do, I just can't comprehend something that's 90 degrees rotated. And I'm going to grab a line, create panel, shapes, line, and I'm just going to sort of draw out roughly what I want. It doesn't have to be a work of art, it's just for the demo here. So something like, like this. Yeah, just like that. And this is going to end up being the, the keyhole. Right here. Cut out another section there. Cool, and I'm holding down shift this entire time. That's what's giving me these nice clean lines. My hand is not actually that steady. So once I've put this thing that resembles a keyhole into place where I like it, about there, I'm going to jump back out to my perspective viewport. I hit P and then Z. Move this out. And now what we need is a, an actual 3D object that we can use as part of the Pro Boolean. So in the Modify panel, I'm going to apply a shell modifier. ELL shell. Looks good. And since this is a closed object when we do a subtraction, it's just going to cut right out of it. So I select my original object, and the Turbo Smooth is already on the stack. I go to the Create panel, Geometry, Compound Objects, and Pro Boolean. I'm going to double check that my parameters are correct. Subtraction, Move. I'm going to click Start Picking, and I'm going to pick that, that keyhole object. And I'm going to turn off my picking mode. And so that's the basis of the technique. And all of these things are still on the stack, too. So if I need to go back and, and continue modeling on this object here, I can. I can just open up the Pro Boolean, click on Operands, select the Operand that I want, and then keep working on it as though nothing had changed, right? Like removing iterations, adding iterations. Um, display options, that kind of thing. One more thing that I want to show you before I go is that if you look really closely at this reference you'll see that if you get a dead-on perspective you can see the pins inside of the barrel, inside of the tumbler. So what I'm going to do is just throw in a quick box to add to the realism. If someone's looking straight at this you know this is the, the thing that they're looking at as a point of reference for realism. I want them to see that I that I put in this pin right there. And then if, when I apply my materials, I would make that a different material, something darker and, and more like brass than the outside, which might be a, a duller color. Let's take a render. And that's how you do it. That's the technique for adding a, a keyhole into a, a lock in 3D Studio Max. Thanks for tuning in to another Monday Movie. You can find all of my Monday Movies as well as tutorials, resources, and downloads at my website www.mrbluesummers.com.